What's going on, pay to play community? Real quick before we get right into things, I wanted to thank you all for supporting this channel. I will continue to bring you the latest and greatest in blockchain gaming. Let's hop right into it. So we're going to look at Ember Sword. We have some big news coming out from this project right here. Some big, big news. Then we're going to look at Gala Games. Then we are going to talk about two exciting things happening with the Gala ecosystem and the games within. After that, we're going to talk about Mist. Mist released some massive, massive VR tech. And we're going to take a little look at some of this stuff here. As you already know, the timestamps will be down below for you to jump to the most relevant news that you're into. So we're going to pop this off with Immutable X Partnerships. Ember Sword is moving away from the Polygon and Matic Layer 2 solution for Ethereum. And they're going to partner with Immutable X. Now that's massive news. I don't know what you think that's going to do for Matic. Let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments for sure. I want to know because I hold a lot of Matic. And the reason, one of the reasons was because of this game. So some of the reasons they're moving. Massive speed and responsiveness. Increase accessibility. You can pay with credit card. No need to hold tokens to pay for gas. Now, one thing I did agree with this is it's especially, it's going to be important for new people. And it says, especially for the not so experienced blockchain users, because let's face it, there's a lot of people that don't mess with blockchain games because of the complexity. To us, it may not be that complex, but to other people, we're really, really messing with some serious shit here. So, improved security too, I guess. Uh, immutable. I mean, Immutable X is doing big things with Guild of Guardians too, and they got a lot of Gods Unchained. So, I ain't got nothing against them partnering with it. I think it's a great move. Uh, again, let me know what you think. So, we're going to move on to Gala Games. The first bit of news is that they launched the website. And this website, we're both looking at for the first time here. And I just wanted to play this little clip here. Welcome to Echoes of Empire. This is our galaxy map. At launch, the game will consist of five star clusters. Hmm. Each star cluster will contain four zones and thousands of NFT celestial objects scattered across millions of map squares. Well, that sounds kind of crazy. Clusters are House Space, Aurora's Edge, The Pale, Ember's Grace, and The Core. House Space is PvE focused and acts as a tutorial for many systems and features of our game. It's like the home base. House space itself is made up of four zones. Kepler's Remnant. The tactical map shows friendly players and enemy combatants. Oh, come on. As well as I thought this was going to be like an immersive 3D game. That's kind of a little disappointing. Stars that produce an over I mean, this looks more like a strategy. It looks definitely like a more strategy game for sure. We're going to have to follow the development of that. That doesn't count it out. You know, it's not going to be no Star Atlas. But I was a little discouraged seeing that they don't have actual like gameplay. It looks like more like chess. Really advanced chess. But we're going to see how this progresses. And I'm definitely going to stick with it. See, because I thought they were going to have some kind of immersive 3D graphics. But... There still might be. Okay, there still might be. I didn't see. Still objects throughout the game. A player's home base is a hub of activity where knights are recruited, fleets are constructed, and upgrades are researched. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, 
kind of like where you build your army up and then you move it around like kind of like uh age of empires or a strategy game i, I like strategy games though all right so let's hop over to mist because this is this is my most exciting piece of news right here is that they have crazy vr tech here Look at that. Wow. Massive. Mist is going to blow up. Let me know what you guys think too. I want to know. I hold a lot of mist. I think it's going to... I think it's going to the moon. All right, last bit of news here for the Gallo Games ecosystem. Mirandis. I was emailed this. Couldn't find any information on uh, mediums or anything. So I'm going to scroll through this slowly. But there's going to be another stress test. And you must own an exemplar in order to be a part of this stress test. And then you can find Materium. And I guess it is a type of play to earn material where they, uh, the more of this that you collect, the more you could own the, the more you col the more exemplars you own, the more materium you can collect in the playtest. And it, as far as I know, materium can be used to bring the fallen back from the dead, bestow spell cast abilities on the holders, teleport value items one place to another. So I'm gonna be definitely getting in on this. All right, guys, I'm going to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest happening with these games. Absolutely going to keep you updated on these games. I'm ex super excited for Mirandis and Gala Games, whatever they got going on with Gala Games for sure. I'm definitely going to continue to watch Ember Sword and Mist. I'm most excited about. But all right, I'll keep you up to date in the next video.